Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon again with another video. So um, I I don't know why God lead me the way he leads me sometimes, but I'm just going to go ahead and be obedient. All right, this is for all you rappers, and y'all know I don't even go this route, um, but when God gives me a word, see, when you're a true prophet, God doesn't just give you a word about just one entity. Sometimes it's this, it's world stuff, sometimes it's a person, sometimes it's going to be a famous person, and for this one, it's about all the rappers. I don't know if y'all know this, when one rapper get killed, y'all know it's it kind of like is a um, domino effect, two or three of them, y'all don't notice that, huh? Well, I asked God all the time because I want to know I want to be in the know what God is saying what the spirit of God is saying and this is a warning for all of you up and coming rappers I'm talking about local and famous I know you don't understand but you will all you got to do is ask God to reveal and ask the spirit of God to show you. you don't ever have to just take somebody word for it you go into the spirit and you ask God and you wait for confirmation that's how you do it don't just say oh they tripping or whatever the case may be so this young man that was killed in Florida it kind of destroyed disturbed me and then I started praying I said God it doesn't make sense because he was really trying to turn his life away around the life away around and that's what happened because he was trying to turn his life away around them people and I'm talking about the elite put out a hit on him now it looks like a robbery that's what it's supposed to look like come on somebody hallelujah that's how they do things they make things look like um suicide Robin Williams oh he was depressed come on somebody that's how they do they think they're the brightest people in the whole wide world but I'm telling you right now, because I do care. No, I don't really listen to all that. But at the same token, y'all are individuals, y'all are people, you have mothers, you have families. And I'm telling you right now, this thing is big. This is not a little small thing. It's not just you guys are having beef. They love that part as well. But they're taking you guys out. It's like a sacrifice to the music industry. And I'm not just saying that. Do you understand what is music? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'm actually going to follow it up with a video. This is what it's all about, the Tabernacle of David. Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying, give me a moment. I'm going to tell y'all. This started, David was the first one to ever start playing, um, having people do mu musical instruments. It was the Levites. Now, it was supposed to be a God thing, right? It was a God thing. But what they found out in the Tabernacle of David is that certain instruments made you move a certain way think a certain way oh come, come on somebody y'all gonna get it in a minute the devil remember he was the music director and the choir director in heaven so when he got kicked out of heaven you got to understand his gifts was not taken away from him but what happened is that they got perverse so now you have to understand music is a force i mean it's a medium as a matter of fact that's what have most people going crazy right now as far as teenagers you see you're supposed to guard your gates what are your gates your eye gates your ear gates and this is all spiritual stuff you have to be mindful of what you listen to i remember years ago when they started grand theft auto that's how i started it started within the videos but then really it was the music too music i've always been a medium because certain frequencies can make you do certain things y'all don't hear what i'm saying y'all wonder why the world is turning so evil and the rappers are talking about murder booty guns you don't notice they all having guns in a video you guys still ain't caught it huh that's exactly what they want y'all to do now they want y'all to kill each other which i rebuke and it's just the truth and, and unfortunately they're making it look like y'all are come on somebody hallelujah y'all don't hear what i'm saying you see certain instruments make you anger smile laugh joy Marvin, Marvin Gaye, right? Sexual healing, make you want to get in the mood for sex. Certain, certain music when you hear it, R&B, rock, it makes you, rock and roll, it makes you want to go crazy, jump up and down. Rap, what's happening? It makes you want to go out and kill somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying because the frequency is in your ear and it's getting you all pumped up. And next thing you know, you're talking about killing somebody. But to be honest with you, most of you rappers don't bust a grip. I'm just being real with you. So the elite, is taking advantage of that and having everybody think y'all killing each other because guess what propaganda sells come on somebody hallelujah i'm just being real and so what's happening is that all this stuff is happening behind the scenes 
they are getting you to act just the way they want to by the frequencies, the something about with chords, chords and harmonies. You think you're just listening to something like, mm, 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 mm. no, 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 honey. Your spirit is being fed. It's almost like being a puppet. You're being programmed on what to do, how to think, what to say, and you don't even know it because it's high. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm just being real with you. I'm a really, I'm going to do about two or three videos on the Tabernacle of David. And if you don't believe me, purchase the book yourself. Google the information. You will find out certain instruments do exactly that. It makes you want to move a certain way. Come on, somebody. Reggae makes you want to say, yeah, mine on all that stuff. So everything is a spirit. And you guys are not understanding. They are getting you to destroy your own selves by what you so say love, by rap. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And so I'm here to tell you, be careful. Be careful who you think you are. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Because I'm telling you, it's costing you. And it's costing you your lives. This stuff is not a game. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. The elite is precise and they're calculated systematically people. They did, nothing just happens. Oh, come on, somebody. They knew exactly what they were doing when they allowed rap to be turned another way. And now, what is it? It's not, it, I, I hate to say it, and I know some of you are going to get upset, but it's not really lyrics y'all listening to. It's death. Come on, somebody. It's just the truth. Y'all listening how to go kill somebody. Uh, a lady with a fat booty. Um, this, this, this. How you take drugs. What, that's that music? No. That's programming our youth to think that way. To want to hurt their parents. To want to kill each other. To want to skip school and, and take drugs. To want to think about sex. Come on, somebody. Are y'all understanding why I'm making this video? Because I care. And God cares. God is trying to intervene. He's trying to tell you guys that you better take a, a clue. As a matter of fact, y'all better take step back and understand what is really going on because we're losing our youth by the dozens, all because of propaganda. Come on, somebody, and spirits. Because the chords and the harmonies, it makes you want to do things that God never told you to do. That is against the commandments of God. So I'm not going to get into all of it tonight, but tomorrow I'm going to come back on here and I'm going to, I'm going to cipher. So it's going to be like an educational thing. Some of you are not going to like it because y'all know y'all like drama, but I'm going, I'm going to break that thing down to what's happening to our nation. Don't you know the youth is supposed to be our future? Well, they're trying to make sure that, that we don't have a future, that y'all don't have a future. And I'm just a person that cares and a prophet of God that's going to tell the truth by God, for God, and with God. Hallelujah to his name. So I'm going to get back on here tomorrow and break that thing down. But I just want to warn you, they're after you. They're not playing. They want to take y'all all out. It's almost like the KKK. We don't need them no more. Let's let them take each other out. And then they give y'all exactly what y'all want. They give y'all a lot of money. They let y'all get high. They let y'all come on, on those videos with all the guns. And then they let y'all rap about it. And then they, they're the ones that actually carry it out. And the sad part is they go through YouTube and they watch the ones that's having beef. So And they pick the perfect time. And I don't know if y'all realize that y'all better start thinking. Y'all acting like y'all don't catch a clue. They're picking the perfect time. And all of a sudden, you don't even think nothing about it. Y'all just think, oh, well, you know, he rapped about it. Have you ever thought that maybe God told them that something was getting ready to happen to them? But hold on. You never thought that the elite go through their videos and say, hmm, we can do it this way. And, and make, hold on. They make more money after they die. That, and that's with every genre. Come on, somebody. That Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Prince. This is all calculated, honey. Systematic. Y'all better catch a clue. So I'm just warning every rapper, local, famous, Please turn back to God, repent. It's not that serious. Just to be famous, just to have money, just to say you got it going on, your life is at stake. Others, and you take, you're taking the rest of the kids with you because y'all y'all don't understand that stuff is, is, is programmed to destroy. It's not to build. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. I'm going to break it down more for y'all tomorrow. So God bless you. This is a warning. XXX, turn to I can't really say his name, so I don't want to mess it up. That young man was not just killed by no robbery. I know y'all think so. That's not true. He was taken out because he was really trying to turn his life around. And the influence he had was so powerful and popular, they didn't want that because they want to destroy the youth. I'm telling you, but I know for a fact. 
I used to be in Hollywood. I know what I'm talking about. They want to destroy us all, truth be told. So God bless you. I pray that y'all really listen to me and hear what I'm saying. Just don't listen. Really hear and let it digest in your spirit. God will always send somebody to warn you guys. God will always send somebody that cares because God loves you at the end of the day. No, he doesn't like what people do, and it could be me. Whoever do wrong, no, God doesn't like that. But he's a good God, and he's trying to save this nation. He's trying to save our youth. He's trying to save you. Are you going to listen? All right, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers, for that is who you truly are. God bless.